so today's video is going to be my June Zodiac look with my dear friend Justice Roberts and we are going to be doing our Gemini look for you guys with my ColourPop Zodiac palette so let's just jump right into it. I don't really have too much time to chit chat um, so we're just going to jump right into the look but if you guys want to check out Justice's look, her look will be... Um, her Instagram will be linked below. Please go check out her Instagram and follow her and show her some love. And you can check out her Gemini look for the month of June there. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. I only have like 40 minutes to get ready. So I need to jump in and get started. So the first shade I'm going to be going into is called the Taurus. And we're going to use that and put it all over the crease area. Basically, I'm going to be using mostly just this palette today because for the look that I have in mind for this I pretty much can use this whole palette to make the look that I'm creating so that's pretty good usually I have to jump into other palettes like the so jaded palette for when I do these um zodiac looks because I can't really complete you know every full look with this with these looks because some of the shades are you know um not shimmers so it's a little bit more difficult but this one it's pretty pretty easy to create this look that I have in mind so I'm just going to buff that all in the crease area we're just gonna do the eyes on camera and then I'll do my face makeup on camera and then we'll just do a little lower lash line you guys know the drill if I'm in a hurry that's how it goes so yeah I swear, ever since I got these ColourPop brushes, I really feel like when I use ColourPop shadows now, they really do blend so much easier. But it's not just when I use ColourPop shadows. It's when I use, like, any shadows in general. Like, my shadows are performing so much better because I'm using my ColourPop brushes. So now I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is called the Aquarius and I want to use that in my crease and I want to use a little bit of blue in this look hopefully it will show up this blue kind of isn't like the most pigmented blue in the world but it is pretty so I'm gonna try and build it up as much as I can if that doesn't work out, I might just go over it with the brown because it's kind of oxidizing. So I think I'm just going to use the brown, which is called the Virgo. And we're just going to go over it with that because... But I kind of like the color that it's creating. It's kind of like creating like a bluey brownish color, obviously. So kind of like that. So we just use a little bit more brown. And I'm just going to be doing the look in this video. I'm not going to talk too much because your girl is tired. I actually just went to pick up my car earlier before this. So now I have my brand new Toyota Corolla and I'm so excited and I'm going to be driving it pretty far today, um, which is funny because whenever you get a new car, they do fill up the gas for you at the dealership and then... I'm going to be driving it out to go see one of my friends and he doesn't live close to me so it's kind of funny that I'm like already driving at a long distance after like the first day that I get it. Um, it just makes me a little bit nervous because you know I want to be careful with it because I just got it so yeah. Um, but I love the car. I actually I drove it home from the dealership and I freaking love it so it's really nice. Okay, so then after that, I just want to buff a little bit more here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I actually like how that looks. I'm going to take... Okay, so for the two shades that we just used in the crease, we used Aquarius and Virgo. So now I'm going to use the black shade, which is called Capricorn. And I'm going to put that on the outer corners just to add some depth and dimension. I actually really like this black shade in here. It's one of my favorite black shades from ColourPop. 
if you guys know I don't really use blacks too much in palettes unless there's not like another deepening shade or like a crease shade that like will deepen up the crease enough for me then I will typically go in with the black if it has a black in the palette but this black actually works really well with the other shades in this palette so I mean it's black it should but it's actually a really good one so I am just going to use that to buff in the outer corners and then we are going to do the lid shade I'm probably just going to add the shade Aquarius to the lower lash line which is what I intended to do anyway um, because it didn't really show up in the crease because it kind of wasn't that's like really the only shade that's not that pigmented in this palette so like I kind of have issues with it sometimes but it is really nice on the lower lash line so we're just going to finish buffing that out and then I'm going to put my NYX pigment primer on and then we'll go into the okay, lid shade. Okay, so now since we are doing a Gemini look, we obviously want to put the Gemini shade all over the lid. So that's what we're going to do. And this shade is so pretty. It's like a beautiful like goldish yellowish shade and I freaking love this color. This is one of their like best golds that they've ever done. I mean, ColourPop pretty much does like light shimmers like literally amazing like they are so pretty and metallic and pigmented and they're so easily um workable and they just like sit on your lids so beautifully it doesn't really like emphasize any texture or anything like look how pigmented that is so it's such a pretty shimmer and since this palette isn't like brand new and the fact that this shimmer still performs like the day I got it is really impressive. So I love this shade. I really wish that they kept around the Kathleen Lights palettes longer. I mean, I know obviously like with collaborations, like they can't stay around forever. And these palettes like from Kathleen Lights actually did stick around quite a bit longer than everybody expected. They were around for like a year or two. And that's a long time for a collab because usually it's like, like a year mostly but like they like constantly restocked this and it was around for a while so um but it's really pretty and I really love using it for these um zodiac looks and it kind of makes me like whip out this palette and use it again just like the so jaded one so now I'm just going to pop on hear me out from ColourPop on my brow bone and then we will jump into the lower lash line after I do my face okay guys so I just did my base so I went in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and my MAC Fix Plus to prep my face as per usual. And then I went in with my ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I don't know if this is getting old because it made my face a little bit itchy, but it still looks gorgeous on the skin. Like honestly, this is probably my favorite full coverage foundation. It just makes your skin look amazing. I love ColourPop foundations. They really do do foundations amazing. And this one's in the shade Fair 05. And then for my concealer, I went in with the Coinciding No Filter Concealer because um, I whipped this out of my collection because I actually had a backup of this sitting at my desk. And I finally decided to pull it out and use it again since I used up the other shade that I had of it like quite a while back. So I was like, why don't I just start using this? And then I set my under eyes with my Pat McGrath Labs. So, uh, setting powder and then for my face of course I use my Dior setting powder I love this damn powder it's so beautiful um I might have to like find like a new like full coverage foundation at this point because like I decluttered all of them like when we were wearing masks but now since like we're able to not really wear masks like as much anymore I'm thinking that I probably need to get a new full coverage foundation at some point so that's probably gonna happen soonish I don't really know though because like I'm still not about that full coverage life anyway so we'll see okay so for the lower lash line like I said I'm gonna use the shade um, Aquarius and we're gonna throw that on the lower lash line I'm just gonna take that the shade is just not that pigmented though and like you have to dip into it like so much like, I love every shade in here except for this shade. 
And sometimes I feel like that happens with some of the 12 pan palettes. I mean, mostly they're always really good, but just this shade is like not as pigmented as I would like it to be. It's a little bit annoying, but it's okay. I can still make it work. It's just like a lot more lightly pigmented than you would think. So it just takes a little bit more work. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And the reason why I'm doing this for this is because my shirt is blue. So I probably wouldn't have done this if I wasn't wearing like a Doctor Who shirt. But kind of wanted to bring in just a little bit of color. But since this was just a Gemini look, I wouldn't have put this on the lower lash line if I wasn't wearing this shirt. But I think it looks fun with a neutral eye and a pop of color. Okay, and then for the waterline, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs liner in the shade, um, what is it called? Overnight and pop that on my waterline. Again, just to add some blue to this look. Some blue. Um, I don't know what I want for my inner corners. But I gotta hurry up. I gotta get out of here soon. Okay, and then for an inner corner pop, I'm just gonna take um the shade I've been trying to hit pan on in my singles palette and a little bit of the shade next to it just to make it a little bit more gold. goodness so I've got a new laptop and a new car this year so I got those out of the way and now I have like 10 million other things I still have to do this summer this summer is going to be a pretty busy summer for me since things are opening back up I need to start you know really looking into like what I want to do for my as far as like a real job goes so it's it's a lot um, so for my mascara, I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer, of course, to prime my lashes, and then I went in with the Pretty Vulgar Mascara, and then I just went in with the uh, Lash Discovery Mascara on my lower lash line as usual, and then for my ColourPop singles, I used this shade and this shade, which was Take It Slow and Just In Time. So I just, just put those two on the in a colonas. And then for my bronzer, I'm going to use the Thrive Cosmetics bronzer, the Rhea bronzer. Um, Kathleen Lights also loves this, but it's just been sitting on my desk for weeks. <laughs> like, use me. So I finally just want to use it today because I just use my Gucci bronzer like all the time. So, yeah. Okay, and then for the blush, I think I'm just going to use, um, what is it called? Lunar Has It or I Need Space. I Need Space from the Zodiac and ColourPop collection just because I don't really have time to like figure out what blush I want. So we're just going to go in with this guy. It's super pigmented and like, holy crap pigmented as hell so yeah I wasn't sure if I'm gonna go in with dreamscape or the highlight you know what I might just go in with dreamscape because it's such a pretty highlighter and I haven't used it in a while so and it's one of Catherine Light's favorites too so I might just use it oh my god my hair is driving me nuts <coughs> Oh 
Okay. Um, I just have to remember to bring this with me because for some reason my new car isn't like wireless for me to use the direction. So I have to use my USB cord. I'm probably going to buy a new one to use for my car. So I have two um, because I can't just have one or I'm going to have to like bring that one back and forth constantly like from my car to my bedroom to charge it. So. Okay, so I'm going to use Dreamscape from ColourPop as my highlighter. Oh my god, so freaking pretty. This is like one of their best highlights pretty much ever. It really is freaking stunning. I don't think I've even used it with this brush yet, so... Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, of course my cupids go. And then I'll let you guys know what I used for the lippy because I really have to get my butt going. So yeah. Hey you guys, so this is the finished look. Here are the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips. I used um, ColourPop's BFF liner and Anastasia's liquid lipstick in strips. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys next month for the next one. Again, please go check out Justice's look on her Instagram. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at CBW819. And my Poshmark is at the same handle at CBW819. Check out my Poshmark if you want to get some makeup for a lower price. We can work out a price. No problem. I love you guys. Bye.